Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Today's topic, Reproduction in Bacteria and Bacterial Growth Curve. Microbial growth refers to an increase in number of cells rather than an increase in cell size. Bacteria increase in numbers by reproduction, but their mode of reproduction is asexual, means a new offspring is produced by a single parent. There is no need of male and female counterpart to produce new organism. Bacteria can multiply by any one of these modes of asexual reproduction, budding, fragmentation and binary fission. Budding. In this mode of cell division, chromosomal DNA divides to form two copies. Sister chromosomal DNA moves to the one side of the cell and this portion of the cell protrude from main body to form bud. As growth proceeds, the size of the mother cell remains about constant, but the bud enlarges. When the bud is about the same size as the mother cell, it separates and develops a new cell. Example is Rhodopseudomonas. Fragmentation. This mode of asexual division is more common in filamentous bacteria. In fragmentation process, filament of the growing cell gets fragmented into small basilary or cocoid cells. These cellular fragments eventually develop into new cell. Example is filamentous cyanobacteria. Binary fission. This is the usual mode of reproduction in bacteria. When cell size becomes too large, it divides and forms another cell. This form of reproduction is called binary fission. In this process, cell replicates its genetic material, which is DNA. After replicating DNA, cell increases its size and becomes almost double to its original size. Cytoplasm of the cell and proteins also increases in amount, some proteins come together at a site of division. Cytoplasm divides in two parts without disturbing DNA. Cell starts to divide from the middle and that's how one cell gives rise to another two daughter cells. Because both daughter cells are identical, cell division is also called replication. Further, these two cells again divided by binary fission and produce four cells. At this progression, one cell gives two cells and two cells give four cells and four cells give eight cells and so on. This type of growth known as exponential growth. The time taken for a bacterial cell to double is called generation time. The generation time varies among different species of bacteria based on the environmental conditions they grow in. For example, Clostridium perfringens is the fastest growing bacteria that has a generation time of 10 minutes, while E. coli has a doubling time of 20 minutes. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is one of the slowest growing bacteria, taking about 12 to 16 hours to double. Bacterial division leads to an increase in the population size. Eventually, population become large enough to visualize. In case of E. coli, after 8 hours, colonies become visible. Bacteria show a predictable growth pattern when enough nutrients and optimal environmental conditions are present. This growth pattern can be presented as a growth curve. In laboratory, upon inoculation into a new nutrient medium, the bacteria show four distinct phases of growth and these phases are lag phase, log phase, stationary phase and death phase. Lag phase. In this phase, the bacteria prepare itself for reproduction and become acclimatized to the environment. The cells are active metabolically and keep increasing in size. The cells synthesize RNA, growth factors and other molecules required for cell division. 
the duration of the lac phase varies with the bacterial species nature of culture medium incubation temperature etc it may vary from 1 hour to several days log phase the log phase is also known as the exponential phase this phase is characterized by rapid exponential cell growth that is 1 to 2 2 to 4 four to eight cells and so on the bacterial population doubles during every generation they multiply at their maximum rate the log phase continues until there is a depletion of nutrients in the setup the stage also comes to a stop if toxic substances start to accumulate resulting in a slower growth rate the cells are the healthiest at this stage researchers prefer to use bacteria from this stage for their experimental processes when plotted on a logarithmic graph paper the log phase appears as a steeply sloped straight line stationary phase after log phase the bacterial growth almost stops completely due to lack of essential nutrients lack of water oxygen and change in the ph of the medium due to continuous consumption at this time the rate of growth of the cells become equal to its rate of death so the cell population remains constant at this stage plotting this phase on the graph gives a smooth horizontal linear line during this phase culture is at its greatest population density decline or death phase during this phase the bacterial population declines due to more number of death of cells this phase starts due to accumulation of toxic products and autolytic enzymes and complete exhaustion of nutrients even cells change their shapes also bacterial growth calculation in exponential phase bacterial growth is optimum and healthiest so this phase is used to calculate bacterial population at particular time this is the formula here n is the final cell concentration after a certain time n0 is the initial cell concentration and small n is the number of generations that occurred between the specified period let's understand with the example e coli divides every 20 minutes culture initially inoculated with 100 e coli cells after 4 hours how many e coli cells are present so as per the formula initial cell concentration n0 is 100 time given is 4 hours convert it into minutes so 4 into 60 is equal to 240 minutes time for one generation of e coli is 20 minutes so in 240 minutes how many times e coli cells divide 240 divided by 20 is equal to 12 times so number of generations which is represented by small n is 12 2 to the power n becomes 2 to the power 12 here which means multiply 2 12 times and we get 4096 Now put these values in formula. 100 into 4096, and the result is after four hours of initial 100 cells of E. coli produce 4 lakh 9600 cells. Generation time calculation. The time which is required for bacterial population to double is known as generation time. the formula is g is equal to t by 9 here t is specified period of time in minutes hours days or month here t is 240 minute small n is 12 so 240 divided by 12 is 20 so generation time is 20 minutes